Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ellen and in today's video I will do another empties video. I have a fully packed bag right here. Um, I haven't done an empties video in a very 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 long time. Uh, so I have a lot of good stuff here. Um, so yeah, if you want to see some products that I have used up and what I think about them, yes, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I am getting up is a body mist and this is a Victoria's Secret body mist in Aqua Kiss. And yeah, um, I'm finally done with all my body mist from Victoria's Secret, which is so nice because you know when they were so popular and everyone had like a lot of them, I also had a lot of them, um, I, yeah, so I'm finally done with all of them, which is so nice, so I'm very happy that I have used this up and I would not buy this again because they don't last on your body like for a minute like they last for like 30 seconds and then they're gone so yeah i would not buy that again then i have two batiste dry shampoos this is my favorite dry shampoo i love batiste dry shampoo you know they're just the best in my opinion and both of these was in tropical but i like pretty much all of the batiste dry shampoo scents because i think all of them s smells very good then I have used up a Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair like spray moisturizer. Yeah, spray mo moisturizer. Um, I actually really, really like this one. I know the packaging and all of that is maybe not the best, you know, for the um, environment and stuff like that. But it was very nice and quick and easy to use in your body. And it was actually very moisturizing and also kind of cooling. So I think I would maybe buy this again in the summertime when it's warmer and you maybe want to have like a cooling effect on your body. I actually really like it, but because of like the packaging i would not buy this like as often as i can because i don't think it's the best packaging and you also use it up pretty quickly i i found another one so i have used up two of this then i used up a toner this is the lumina soothing extra gentle toner for sensitive skin I really really like this one because it was so soothing and kind of like moisturizing and I really like how it calmed down kind of my skin. I would actually repurchase that when I've used up the toner that I'm using right now. Then I have used up a facial wash. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Cleansing Facial Wash. Um, I've been using this for years and years. I really do like this one. I kind of have like blemished and kind of acne prone skin as you maybe can see um, and I really do like it for that purpose uh, so I would if you have problem with breakouts and stuff like that I would really recommend this product because I love it then I have used up a little lip mask um, I like I don't get the thing with lip mask like this I've I got this in a glossy box so I didn't buy it by my with my own money because it just moisturizes my lip and kind of plump it, but you know, a lip balm and a lip plumper do the exact same thing. And it didn't even plump my lips that much, so literally a lip balm would do the exact same thing. And a lip balm you can use for a lot, like a lot of times, and this you can only use once. So I don't really get why you would buy like a lip mask. Um, rather spend your money on a good lip balm, I would say. Um, another facial wash that I've used up is this Bior Free Upper Charcoal. I did not really like this one. I, I I feel like this was a little bit too harsh on my skin, you know. It smelled a lot, so I think it has, like, a lot of perfume. Yeah, it's literally, like, it's a sh it says that it's a charcoal wash, but it has perfume higher above on the ingredient list than the charcoal powder. I don't know the science thing of this, but... I didn't like this. It, it felt very drying on my skin, so I would not bite this again. 
then I found another body lotion and this is from Aqua which is like the drugstore here in Sweden I would say this is nothing special um, you know I feel like it moisturized just the same as like a normal like Dove or Nivea body moisturizer do so it was nothing special and yeah it was just a little bit more expensive than like a Nivea or Dove or Vaseline moisturizer so uh, I don't think this is worth it to buy um, maybe if you have sensitive skin I know they have this one that isn't perfumed maybe that is great if you can't find it like an unscented version but this is just just like all the other drugstores moisturizers that are in market but this is just more expensive then i used up a apolosophy moisture night cream yeah this is for normal slash combination skin i actually really really like this one because it was very moisturizing but still not too thick it was more thicker than a day cream but it was not too thick so it felt heavy on the skin so if i if i found this again i would probably buy it I have also used up an Aqua face cream, face day cream, moisturizing day cream, and this is for normal to combination skin. I actually really, really like this one because the one that is for um, Aqua has like an Aqua spotless series, and I don't really love that moisturizer there because I think it's way too thin. Um, so I tried this one and I really really like it and right now I'm using the kind of same just that the one that is for like oily skin and I feel like those two feels the same so I would probably buy repurchase this one or the one that is for oily skin because I feel like they are the same Okay, so the next thing I've been using up is this little mini of a firming radiant mud mask from minus 417 I don't know 417 I don't know I really like this one it was a really really good like mud mask um I don't know if it was like framing but it was really good for my acne prone skin but I looked it up and it was very very expensive so I would not buy this again because it was way too expensive for me <laughs> then I've used up two minutes of the origin drink up intensive over overnight mask this first it smells so good which also means that it has a lot of perfume in it and you know when i used it like once every week at night it was good you know my skin was left very like glowy and moisturized but uh, when i used it like every night it was very my skin felt very irritated after using this so i will not buy this again because also origin is quite expensive and for the products you get it's just not it's it's just not it so i will not buy this again <laughs> then i've used up no i haven't even used up this product like ugh. um i actually will throw this away this is a beauty imbalance detox peel off mask like this was just full shit like it came like dried and clumpy and yeah no good you, you couldn't even peel it off like it was so bad no this is very bad don't don't use this kind of stuff then i've used up a mini from echo king um this is a peeling mask this was very good it's like this is a chemical peeling mask just like the like the famous mask from the ordinary i'm using that at the moment um this was very very good it was a lot it is a lot stronger than the ordinary one so if you feel like you need a stronger one um, I would recommend this one and you know, they're like vegan and or like Organic and stuff like that. I know this is pretty expensive to the big one but if you like chemical pills and you and you feel like the that you need kind of a stronger one. I would really recommend this um, But if you just start out with the chemical pills, I would rather recommend the ordinary one then I've used up another moisturizer. This is also mini and this is from Clinique moisture surge like 72 hour auto replenish hydrator i actually really 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 like this one uh this is like fragrance free and all of that i think this is from like their sensitive line or something like that this was very very good i love the texture it was very thin and very 
like jelly kind of um first of all and second of all is yeah it moisturized like a lot it moisturized very good at the same time it wasn't too heavy the only thing i i'm pretty sure that clinic test on um isn't cruelty free which is quite sad and it's also quite expensive so i would not buy this again but if i found it for like a very cheap price i would maybe consider to buy it again because i really liked it but if you have the money and you don't really care if the product is tested on animal or not i would really recommend this one because i really did like it then i've used up two uh, of the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. I love this serum so much. Um, I buy this again and again and again and I think I would never stop buying it because it's so good if you have a problem with acne. And I use this every morning and night just a little bit. You know, I just put a little bit of dot in my hands and then I put it on my face. It's just really good, very cheap, and it actually lasts for a really long time. So I would recommend everyone to buy this because it's so good. And then I only have some makeup product left. Okay. So the first thing I've used up is a pair of lashes. This is the Ardell Wispies. Um, you know, this is a very good lash. I really like it, but I'm not that into lashes anymore. I'm more of a, if I use lashes, I will rather use like a half lash rather than a, like a whole lash. But if I would use a, like a whole lash, I would use this one because, you know, it's very good and it's also very cheap. So if you like lashes, I would really recommend this one. Then I've used up two setting sprays the first one is the essence you better work fixing spray like sweat resistant anti shine and like you improve and stuff like that i didn't love this i didn't like this a, a lot like the spray bottle was very very weird first of all second of all it was just you know it didn't make my makeup last any longer or anything like that so it was really nothing special so i would not buy this again and the other a setting spray I've used up is this. This is the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Um, I really like this. I don't know how many of these I've bought like through the years. Um, but this is like, I ha it's not like my favorite favorite setting spray. I don't know that yet. Um, but it's a good setting spray. And if I can't find like a setting spray I want to try, um, I would buy this one because you know it's a it's a good setting spray, but I don't think it's the best out there. Then I've used up two concealers. The first one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Beige. Um, I really like this concealer. It's a very good product, but I won't buy buy it again because the cruelty free status on wet n wild is kind of like eh at the moment it's very complicated um if you want to know more about it just look it up on google but i won't buy this until i know with a clearer answer if wet n wild is cruelty free or not but the product itself is really good and if Wet n Wild still was 100% cruelty free, I would probably buy it again. The other concealer that I've been used up is this NYX Can't Stop One Stop Concealer and I have the shade Alabaster. Yeah, this is a very, like, this is one of my favorite concealers. I think I found one that I like a little bit more, but that is not drugstore. Um, but this is a drugstore concealer. It's so good. It's pretty cheap. And it's a very, very, very good concealer. I would say it's medium to full coverage. So if you like, if you like a more lighter coverage, this is maybe not for you. And if you like a very full coverage, this is also maybe not a product for you. But for me, this is a great product. I really like it. And yeah, I will probably buy this again. Then I have used up an eyebrow product. Um, this eyebrow product is the Wet n Wild Retractable brow pencil in the color blonde i think i don't know no taupe it was a fine brow pencil like it wasn't something special um and again it's wet and wild and their cruelty free status is kind of like meh 
because I, I personally, I like more smaller pencils to get like more like hair-like strokes and this kind of have, had like a bigger triangle shape so you couldn't really draw any brow strokes but if you like a bigger pencil I would recommend it but if not uh, I would not recommend it and I personally would not buy this again. Then I have used up a powder. This is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I actually like this product. Um, in the beginning when I just bought it and tested it out I didn't really like it because I felt like um, it says like all about matte and I thought it would like mattify and that was the look I liked back then but when I've been using it now like until it was empty I really like the more glowy and just you know more natural look and this powder was really good for that because it sets my face but it didn't was it says all about matte but I, I feel like it wasn't that matte it was more like it let like the foundation finish shine through if you understand what I mean it make the makeup last all day so I actually want to buy this again uh, because I really liked it in the end and it's also a very cheap product so yeah and then I've used up two eyeliners the first one is the revolution the liner from makeup revolution this was great like the first time the first time or maybe also the second time you used it was good it was really good but like then it started like it, the color didn't came out all out to the tip it was like only on the base of this so you needed to like push it down on your hand first to get any product out and then you could paint it out on the tip and then make a liner so we just it was just very difficult to use so i will probably not buy this again and then i've used up this eyeliner this is the la girl line art matte eyeliner i really did like this eyeliner like oh, it was so good this is how the tip looks it's a very thin tip and it was very easy to use and make a great line for it first of all second of all it, it this lasted for a very long time which is super nice and it's also not that expensive but the thing is i think this is going to get discontinued because i found it on sales and i and on some stores I can't even find it at all, which is so sad because I really do like this one. Um, but I can't find it anywhere, so I can't rebuy it. <laughs> so if you know anything about it, if this product will be discontinued or not, please write it in the comments. Because that will be very sad because I really do like this product. It's so good. Now we are down to the last and final product. And this is a primer. This is the... Holika Holika Holy Pop Blur Cream. This is the best primer I've ever used and it's so sad that I can't buy it literally anywhere. Because first of all, like Korean brands is so hard to find here in Sweden, like they don't sell it at like pretty much at all. And second of all, this was a summer collection for a few from a few years ago. So I don't even know if they have this product in their original line. If you know that, please write it down in the comments because I really want to know if they have this in the original line. But yeah, I really did like this product. It was so good. It, you know, it blurred out my pores and it made, made the ma makeup look very good. And it also made the makeup last for a very long time. So if you could find this product or if you can find the same product but maybe not... From this collection i would really really do recommend it because it's so good but yeah that was everything for today's video um i hope you liked it and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah i hope i see you in my next video bye